Hi, Austin with Obsolete Automotive, and uh, today I want to put some seat belts in that 62 Belvedere. A lot of old cars don't have seat belts, and you might want them for safety reasons, um, whether it's passengers or car seats or whatever it may be. They're pretty simple to put in and make old style, uh, I guess you'd call them like airplane style seat belts. So they're pretty easy to put in, so we're going to just do it real quick, and you can kind of see what's involved. I've already removed the bottom of the back seat here. This is the type of seat belt that's going in the car. It's very similar to an airplane. So you stick that in there. Kind of hard to do one-handed, but that's latched. Then you pull this to tighten it. Now you might remember from your airplane demonstrations to release the seat belt. You just pull this flap up, it drops out. Now to mount them, each side has this mounting plate and you can order the hardware kit from the seatbelt manufacturer. We'll have some large washers, bolts, lock washers and nuts. So basically what you'll do is drill some holes in your floor pan in a good spot to bolt those to your floor. Things to note, Look underneath the car, watch out for brake lines, fuel lines. Also, you don't want to drill above like the frame rail or a muffler or into the muffler or brake lines and things like that because that wouldn't be much fun. And you also want to be able to get to the bolts and nuts on the back side. So wherever you drill, make sure you can actually get to it on the underside of the car. So get up under the car and look before you start drilling. I've already pulled the seat loose so I can get to everything. So let's uh, get started. Looking underneath the car, you can see there is a brake line here. So you definitely want to watch out for that. I've determined probably the best spot to drill is maybe in this area because I can actually get to it. Over here, I'm probably going to drill someplace up in here so I don't have to try to get on top of the muffler. I guess if the muffler wasn't there or whatever, it wouldn't matter, but I'll probably drill somewhere up in here. That way I can actually get to it and tighten the nuts and bolts. Pro tip, start with a small drill bit, just in case where you drill isn't where you want to put it. That way you don't have a gaping hole. So I'm going to probably put this one here. That clears that brake line and I can actually get to it. So I drilled that small hole there. Let's see where it came out on the back side. Right there. So as you can see, I'm avoiding the brake line. And I'll be able to get to that on the back side to put the uh, bolt through and tighten it down so now we can put the larger bit on and hog that sucker out got the big bit go in that pilot hole there but i'm going to attempt to at least wasn't so bad now we should be ready to put the hardware through go there. Now I need to drill a hole over here for the other side. Also you might want to remove the uh, seat bottom but it's a little bit better if you just leave it in kind of slide it forward to the back of the front seat and then you got a place to kind of lay down as you work instead of laying on a hard floor. I do it this way at least. All right next spot. I think I'll drill it right about here. Got my pilot hole drilled and we'll see kind of where it came out on the bottom side just to make sure. And there it is there. Easy to get to. So I'll go ahead and drill it all the way through. 
making sure I'm not going to hit anything. I won't. There's the brake line, the muffler, and the mount, and all that. So that should be a good spot there. This is the hardware needed, bolt, lock washer, nut, and a big ass washer. So, take our seat belt, obviously put it there on the hole, we'll stick our bolt through, then we go on the back side. And our washer will go in. And then finally the nut. And tighten that all down. We'll do the other side. Got the other side here, getting the nut on, then we'll tighten it down, and that'll be one side done. Got the other side bolted up, so that's two rear seat belts. Now I'll go ahead and put the seat back in, and then we're done. I went ahead and also replaced the front seat belts with some new ones since the originals were getting kind of crunchy. They had drilled holes in the floor pans of this car to put the front ones in, so I put them back in the same spot. But actually, these 62 and up Mopars have factory anchors in the floor pans. So if you are putting seat belts in the front, you could probably just use the original anchors instead of drilling holes. Keep that in mind, I guess, if you decide to put seat belts in your 62 and up Mopar. Anyways, hopefully this was somewhat helpful. There may be other videos with this, I don't know. But I was doing it, so I figured I'd uh, make a video about it. Anyways, I guess catch you on the road.